All right, thumbs up, great. Uh, I'm gonna share my screen now. I'm gonna jump right into the presentation. I only have 15 minutes today. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Wasserman for hosting, uh, for hosting this meeting. Um, so class calc is a couple things, right? Uh, I remember when I was in college, I was using some of the most powerful calculators out there. I was pretty early to the game. Um, and our teachers always uh, seemed to not allow us to use it in class, not allow it to use, use it on test, mainly because they were afraid you'd be cheating with your phone. And so we still had to buy these clunky $120 handheld calculators. Um, and so one of the one of the sort of um, uh, intuitions we had here at ClassCalc uh, Innovations was that, you know, if you could lock the calculator out of all outside distractions during like a test mode session, um, then teachers would let students use these calculators during class, during tests, et cetera. So that's what ClassCalc is. It's a class. It's a it's a lockdown calculator. Um, our graphing calculator is our, our main feature. It's, it's very it's very powerful. I'll show you guys in a moment. It's, it's built on JSX Graph. So uh, their work has been tremendous for us. Um, and uh, apparently we're also now contributors. Um, and then ClassCalc is also an API. So for example, I, I didn't catch the names of the people who were just presenting, but if you wanted to build, I'll use that example, if you wanted to build a test bank of questions for statistics and next to each question you wanted, um, here, I'll, I'll actually jump into the calculator real quick to show you. Let's, let's say next to each question you wanted, um, like you, you wanted an instance of a calculator with data already pre-plotted into the calculator so that it's ready for the student to like manipulate, um, to manipulate uh, and answer the question with, right? So I'll go to a, a spreadsheet we have with sample data, right? And this is just an example of, of, of what, you know, the, the extent of class calc's power. Okay, no. My brother just need the keys to move the cards. Um, this is the extent of class Galaxy power. So uh, you can copy uh, you can copy some data. I'll paste it into class Galaxy over here. Um, and then what you could do, right? This is for the, the folks that were just presenting is I could share this and then I have a URL to share it and an embed link. So I could literally just embed this calculator like it would be right here on the screen, right? Um, and this the question would be here and the answer box would be here. So the calculator is right there ready for them to answer. You could also use it as an answering tool as well. So I could present my answer in the calculator, right? Sort of with the equations I do. So let's say the, let's say I was supposed to regress these two, right? I could type in LIN, which is linear regression and I regress X1 versus Y1. Um, and I get this, uh, where is this regression line and that could be my answer. I could literally click share or save or whatever as the API as a developer, I made the button B and I could just click uh, that button and it would, uh, it would share the, um, it would share the regression and that's what would be sent in as the answer. So uh, hopefully your imagination abounds. I think there's a lot of different applications. That's just one example. Um, I'm gonna hop quickly back to the lockdown because I'm sure a lot of you guys wanna see that. And we're gonna spend two minutes on that and then the rest of the time will be on the calculator again. Uh, so how does the lockdown work? It's very simple. There's the teacher side and the student side. Students can use any mobile device, any iPad, any Chromebook. So I'm signed here as Bert Einstein. You guys might recognize the guy, he's a student. Um, and I am, don't log out. Uh, and I'm signed in as a teacher named Nikola Tesla on, um, on the computer, right? And so I, as a teacher, I create a virtual classroom, much like Google Classroom. I already did that, so I'm gonna skip that part here, but I just click, create a classroom, I name it. And I have this physics 101 class and uh, it comes with the code 197432. I already joined it. Einstein already joined that class. He went here, he couldn't join the class. So he already joined that class. You could see him here along with some other smart people. Um, and so what I do as a teacher is from now on, I just walk into class, I select the class and I start test here on the bottom. Right? And this is in the starting test mode, initiating that lockdown. And all the students will receive an invite that looks like this. The test invite from Nikola Tesla. Great, I'm gonna join the test. I'm gonna lock myself down and boom. This phone is now completely locked down and you can see that's gonna show up as a green dot here, which uh, hopefully is an indication to you guys. This, this stuff can be used remotely. So I could lock, I'm here in Los Angeles. If one of you guys was uh, somewhere in Switzerland right now, I could lock your phone from here. And so that's, it's really useful for uh, remote learning to make sure students are focused um, and for remote test administration. Obviously the main use case though is using it in the classroom when you're doing tests. Um, and so now the, the iPhone is locked down and I, I can send out tutorials later if you guys want to try this on your own phone and computer, but you can't use the power button. You can't, you can't go home. You can't like get any of the side menus. It's completely blocked. You can't use anything but a class calc that little too, the contrast is a little too wide, so it's hard to see. But it's completely locked to class calc. 
Um, now it's the student's own device at the end of the day, so they can leave test mode. They just click exit test. They click exit test. They click exit test mode. It made a loud noise, but it's in my headphones. Um, there's a red dot next to the student's name and the timestamp when they left. So that indicates to the teacher, hey, maybe something, something fishy is going up. All right, so that is uh, it for test mode. Did I see, I think I saw a bunch of uh, chats. Are these questions? Do we ask questions? Oh, never mind. Okay, that's in the previous one. Cool. Um, so I'm gonna put away the phone for now. Um, and again, there are, so you, uh, the way you access the main app, right? This graphing calculator is you just go to classcalc.com slash graphing, this guy up here, and we'll take you to this link. Um, and then in the center, top center, we have help center. And if you click on more video tutorials, right? It'll take you to our tutorial page. And the tutorial page has two main sections. There's the calculators. There's calculator tutorial, which is like graphing, scientific, calculus, all that. And then there's the classroom tutorial, which is test mode, et cetera. Um, signing up, joining a class, test mode. So that's in two categories and you can use the search bar to look for whatever you want as well. So you guys are always welcome to use um, use the tutorials. You're also welcome to contact me. Just let me actually put that in the chat right now. I'm dan at classcalc.com. Uh, whoops, I actually want to send it to everyone. How do I do that? Everyone, boom. All right, dan at classcalc.com. We're getting a question uh, from Mike. Michael or Mikhail, uh, is this a commercial product? Um, we do have commercialization. So for example, if we're working with a company and they wanna use our API, that's gonna cost money. If we're working with um, people at the school level and they wanna use the lockdown, the lockdown will cost money. Uh, the calculator itself is, uh, is free to use, right? So um, for, for personal and private use or just like use in the classroom, Right, just the calculator itself, completely free to use along with all its share features and whatnot. So if you right now, uh, Michael, go to classgal.com slash graphing, you'll be able to use it. Nothing will stop you. I hope that answers your question. So let's look at some other stuff. And again, this is this is so cool. This is all built uh, JSX graph. So, um, I, you know, you can do anything from uh, calculus. So I could do like the, the derivative of a function Right, well, that's, that's a pretty simple derivative. Right, you do the derivative of a function and it gives you the answer over here, the symbolic answer. You could specify that X equals 0.3. It'll give you the tangent line at 0.3 and the slope of the tangent line over here. Uh, you can take integrals as well, right? So take the integral of let's say five X squared um, and let's do the integral from zero to five. It'll plot the original parabola, highlight the area of the curve and give you the answer here. Um, you can do a ton of statistics. So as I was showing you before, you can plot a table, put some points in there, and then I can do, um, for example, I could do, well, I'll show you guys right here. So there's a keyboard down here. If you click on that, you'll see under stats, we've got basic, advanced, distributions, plots, and tests. Which time do we have? So we have two more minutes. Um, okay, so under basic, there's mean, median, mode. Advanced has you know linear regression, polynomial regression. Uh, one bar stat, two bar stat. So I know you guys probably are familiar with that function. That's one VS is one bar stat, right? It'll give you all the one variable statistics. So I took the one variable statistic of X1, which is this column over here. Um, and then we got, you know, distributions and plots and hypothesis testing. So I'll show you guys like hypothesis test and a plot. So um, hypothesis test would be like two sample Z test. And I could feed it data instead of statistics and give it the two standard deviations. The x, uh, the x column and the y column above, and it'll give me the p-values, the z-score, and some other parameters. Um, for more graph-intensive stuff, we have like a normal distribution, uh, which we could do. And um, actually, let's do the normal approximation for the binomial distribution. So we have n equals, to, we'll set that to 500, we'll set p to equal 0.5, and q to equal 1 minus p. Right, and so I could take the normal distribution and feed it N and P, right? So class calc is pretty good with variables and constants and all that, I'll understand what you're trying to say. And then we'll take the binomial distribution of, sorry, you take the binomial distribution of N and P and this guy should be N P and then square root of, so I just typed in S Q R T for square root. Again, you could get it from the keyboard if you want, N P Q. And so this is the zoom fit button. So I'm going to click on that. So I'm going to zoom fit it. You can see we have a uh, we have a binomial approximation for a normal distribution. 
Let's change the color here so it's a little easily more visible. Maybe yellow. Um, and so now we have, you know, we have this uh, normal approximation. And, and so this is, you know, this is pretty cool stuff, right? I could change these variables around that it'll move around. So I could change that to 50, right? And I'll come down over here and you'll see that the shape gets a, a lot steeper. Um, and I could zoom fit it again so that it's fitted. Um, and then again, like I could share this feature as a, as a, as a company, I could build the feature and I could share it anywhere in my, in my product or whatever. Um, but also as a individual user, like as a teacher, I could, I could click the share button. I could send that to my students and say, hey kids, check out this, uh, this uh, approximation of a normal distribution and uh, play around with it and share your intuitions and answer the question uh, under chapter two, uh, 23, you know? Um, that's just a couple examples. I could go on for a very long time and show you guys all the wonderful features. Uh, we do implicit graphing, we do conics, uh, trigonometry, uh, like simple stuff, like finding points of intersection, points of, you know, minima, maxima, uh, polar coordinates, parametric functions, it's all there. Um, it's all really powerful. So I, I, you know, please feel free to use it. Um, and if anyone here is thinking of collaborating, you know, we have offered, uh, you know, sometimes we've had like free offerings for other partner companies, if they're like a nonprofit or something of the sort, we really like them. Sorry for the dogs barking. But um, if any of you guys listening to this have an idea of how we could collaborate, please don't hesitate, reach out. Let's at least discuss it. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's something we could do that's very mutually um, beneficial. And I think my time is up. Oh, what CAS are you using? Uh, good question. Um, it's not a well-known CAS. It's uh, something we've sort of developed in-house uh, in partnership with uh, one of the, one, one of a, a great developer out there. It's, it's probably, it's, it's not a name you'd know. Um, it works pretty strongly, but it's, and it does, it does what we want, but I wouldn't say if you're, if your sole need and desire is to have, um, a cast calculator, I would say there's probably stronger ones out there like Mathway where that is their sole focus. Can you embed class calc graphs on other websites? Yes. So uh, Andreas, just so you know, if you go to classcalc.com, the share feature is not there just yet. This is a beta version that I was showing you that has a share feature, this share button. Um, we are testing that and we will release it very soon. Um, we're looking at two weeks from now. But yeah, if you click the share button and then you click the embed link, you can literally, this is an iframe. You can copy and paste it into any website. You can do it in Canvas even. You can do it, I think in Moodle. Um, you can just copy and paste it and boom, the calculator will be embedded. Uh, you could also embed it in testing services like uh, Proctorio or ExamSoft or uh, HonorLock or any of those guys. All right, I, if there's no other questions, uh, ready, ready, ready when you are, Alfred. <laughs>